Envision Eugene is a project that will help shape how and where our community will grow over the next 20 years. The goal of the project is to determine a Eugene-specific urban growth boundary and create a new comprehensive plan that will serve as a roadmap for future development in our city. So far, we've heard from hundreds of people through conversations, community workshops, youth art contests, online surveys, our website, and popular Facebook page. All this information is helping to build a plan for how Eugene can use the land we currently have as efficiently as possible. In October 2010, we held an open house at the Downtown Library and invited people to learn about and respond to key topics that are shaping our draft plan. This video tour is designed to give you a taste of the information that was provided at the open house and let you know where you can learn more and provide your feedback. The first station provided a slideshow overview of the Envision Eugene project thus far, as well as fact sheets that are available on the Envision Eugene website www.envisioneugene.org. Next up was transportation. Where are the places that you go to in and around Eugene and how do you get there? Thinking about how we will get to and from the places we live, work, study, shop, and play is an important part of the Envision Eugene plan. You can learn more about the Bike and Pedestrian Master Plan at www.eugenepedbikeplan.org and the Transportation System Plan at www.eugenetsp.org. Another important topic covered in our third station was mixed-use development. Mixed-use development means allowing more than one type of use in a building or set of buildings. For instance, having retail shops or offices in or around housing. We've heard from a number of people throughout the community that they would like to see more mixed-use developments on or near our main transit routes, such as Coburg and River Roads, Willamette Street, Franklin Boulevard, Highway 99, and West 11th Avenue. Another reason to focus on mixed-use development is to respond to the changing needs of our population. Mixed-use can provide a variety of housing types that are close to shops, bus lines, and other services. Mixed use is also related to the important topic of jobs and economic development, which were highlighted at Station 4 of the Open House. As our economy changes, what kind of jobs do we need to plan for? Where will they be located? The fifth station focused on the City of Eugene's recently adopted Climate and Energy Action Plan. It recommends actions that our community can take to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, curb our use of fossil fuels, and adapt to changes in our climate. Some of these actions are directly related to how and where we locate homes, jobs, and services. You can learn more about the Climate and Energy Action Plan at www.sustaineugene.org. Our homes and our neighborhoods are important to us, and they are a critical component of Envision Eugene. The sixth station focused on this topic. As we look ahead, how do we create affordable housing for everyone in our community while strengthening existing neighborhoods and finding appropriate opportunities for additional housing. The final station of the open house provided more information on our urban growth boundary. After we have determined how much of our future housing and jobs we can fit into existing areas of the city, we may need to begin exploring the expansion of the urban growth boundary to accommodate any remaining land needs. Conversations about urban growth boundary expansion will need to consider many things, including what the land is currently being used for, its location and the natural resources on the land, and how utilities like streets, water, and power can be provided in an efficient manner. Thanks for taking the time to watch this quick overview of our October open house. We invite you to take a closer look at the materials on our website at www envisioneugene.org. You can also provide your feedback and thoughts through our online survey located there. In our next video, we will be talking to people in different parts of the community, including Bethel and the Sheldon High School areas. Thanks again for watching.